Buganda is a subnational kingdom within Uganda. The kingdom of the Ganda people, Buganda, is the largest of the traditional kingdom in present-day Uganda, comprising all of Uganda's central region, including Uganda capital, Kampala. The 5.5 million Baganda, singular Muganda, often referred to simply by the root word and adjective Ganda, make up the largest Ugandan ethnic group, representing approximately 16.9% of Ugandan's population. Buganda has a long and extensive history, unified in the 14th century under the first King Kato Kintu, the founder of Buganda's Kintu dynasty. Buganda grew to become one of the largest and most powerful states in East Africa during the 18th and 19th centuries. During the scramble for Africa and following unsuccessful attempts to retain its independence against British imperialism, Buganda became the center of the Ugandan protectorate in 1894. The name Uganda, the Swahili term for Buganda, was adopted by British officials. Under British rule, many Buganda acquired status as colonial administrators and Buganda became a major producer of cotton and coffee. Following Uganda's independence in 1962, the kingdom was abolished by Uganda's first Prime Minister, Milton Obote, in 1966. Following years of disturbance under Obote and dictator India Mini, as well as several years of internal divisions among Uganda's ruling National Resistance Movement under Yoheri Museveni, the President of Uganda since 1986, the Kingdom was finally restored in 1993. Buganda is now a Kingdom monarchy with a large degree of autonomy from the Ugandan state. Although tensions between the Kingdom and the Ugandan government continue to be a defining feature of Ugandan politics. Since the restoration of the Kingdom in 1993, the King of Buganda, known as the Kabaka, has been Muenda Mutebi II. He is recognized as the 36th Kabaka of Buganda. The current Queen, known as the Nabakereka, is Queen Sylvia Naginda. Buganda's boundaries are marked by Lake Victoria to the south, the River Nile to the east, Lake Kyoga to the north, and River Kafu to the northwest. To the west, Buganda is bordered by the district of Isingiro, Kiru, Kiru Hura, Kenjonjo, Kibale, Hohima. Buganda has 18 officials recognized counties, Amasaza. The counties are then divided into a variable number of sub-counties or gombololas, and each gombolola is then divided into parishes called Miluka singular Moluka. Two or more villages make up one Moluka. The Luganda language is widely spoken in Uganda and is the most popular second language in Uganda along with English. It is also taught in some primary and secondary schools in Uganda and at Makerere University, Uganda's oldest university and it has an exhaustive dictionary. The Luganda language was also used as a means of instruction in schools outside the region of Buganda prior to Uganda's independence in 1962. In literature and common discourse, Buganda is often referred to as Central Uganda. It may be argued that this new main creature does not refer to Buganda's geographical location, but to its political prominence and to the fact that Kampala the nation's capital is located in Buganda. Ganda villages, sometimes as large as 40 to 50 homes, were generally located on hillsides, leaving hilltops and swampy lowlands uninhabited to be used for crops and pastures. Early Ganda's villages surrounded the home of a chief or headman, which provided a common meeting ground for members of the village. The chief collected tribute from his subject, provided tribute to the Kabaka, 
who was the ruler of the kingdom, distributed resources among his subjects, maintained law and order, and reinforced social solidarity through his decision-making skills. During the 19th century, Ganda villages became more dispersed as the role of the chiefs diminished in response to political turmoil, population migration, and occasional popular revolts. The history of Buganda. The kingdom of Buganda is situated in a swampy hillside that served as a refuge for those escaping rivalries in neighboring Bunyoro. One faction fleeing Bunyoro under the leadership of Prince Kimera arrived in Buganda towards the last quarter of the 14th century. The prince molded the already existing refugees in the area into a unified state and became the first Kabaka, the ruler of Buganda. By the 18th century, the formerly dominant Bunyoro kingdom was being eclipsed by Buganda. Consolidating their efforts behind a centralized kingship, the Buganda, people of Buganda, shifted away from defensive strategies and toward expansion. By the mid-19th century, Buganda had doubled and redoubled its territory, conquering much on Bunyoro and becoming the dominant state in the region. Newly conquered lands were placed under chiefs nominated by the king. Buganda's armies and the royal tax collectors traveled swiftly to all parts of the kingdom along specially constructed roads which crossed streams and swamps by bridges and viaducts. On Lake Victoria, which the Ganda called Nalubale, a royal navy of Otrega canals commanded by an admiral who was chief of the Langfish clan could transport Baganda commandos to raid any shore of the lake. The journalist Henry Morton Stanley visited Buganda in 1875 and provided an estimate of Buganda troop strength. Stanley counted 125,000 troops marching off on a single campaign to the east where a fleet of 230 war canoes waited to act as auxiliary naval support. At Buganda's capital, Stanley found a well-ordered town of about 40,000 surrounding the king's palace, which was situated atop on commanding hill. A wall more than four kilometers in circumference surrounded the palace compound, which was filled with the grass-roofed houses, meeting halls, and storage buildings. At the entrance to the court burned the royal Gombolola fire, which would only be extinguished when the Kabaka died. Thronging the grounds were foreign ambassadors seeking audiences, chiefs going to the royal advisory councils, messengers running errands, and a corps of young pages who served the Kabaka while training to become future chiefs. For communication across the kingdom, the messages were supplemented by drum signals. The British were impressed with government of Buganda. Under Kabaka Mwanga II, Buganda became a protectorate in 1894. This did not last and the Kabaka declared war on Britain on July 6, 1897. He was defeated at the Battle of Bodu on July 20th of the same year. He fled to German East Africa where he was arrested and interned at Bukoba. The Kabaka later escaped and led a river army to retake the kingdom before being defeated once again in 1898 and being exiled to the Seychelles. While in exile, Mwanga II was received into the Anglican Church, was baptized with the name of Danieri, which is Daniel. He spent the rest of his life in exile. He died in 1903, aged 35 years. In 1910, his remains were repatriated and buried at Kasubi. Kabaka Mwanga II, Buganda, was allowed near complete autonomy and a position as overlord of the other kingdoms. The war against Kabaka Mwanga II had been expensive and the new commissioner of Uganda in 1900, Sir Harry H. Johnson, had orders to establish 
and an efficient administration to levy taxes as quickly as possible. Sir Johnston approached the chiefs in Buganda with offers of jobs in the colonial administration in returns for their collaborations. The chiefs did so but expected their interest preserving Buganda as a self-governing entity, continuing the royal line of Kabakas and securing private land tenure for themselves and their supporters to be met. After much hard bargaining, the chiefs ended up with everything they wanted, including one half of all the land in Buganda. The half left the British as crown land was later found to be largely swamp and scrub. Johnston's Buganda Agreement of 1900 imposed a tax on hearts and guns, designated the chiefs as tax collectors and testified to the continued alliance of British and Buganda interest. The British signed much less generous treaties with the other kingdoms, Toro in 1900 and Kole in 1901 and Bunyoro in 1933 without the provision of large-scale private land tenure. Following Uganda's independence in 1962, the kingdom was abolished by Uganda's first Prime Minister Milton Obote in 1966. Following years of disturbance under Obote and dictator Indi Amini, as well as several years of internal division among Uganda's ruling national resistance movement under Yoweri Museveni, the president of Uganda since 1986, the kingdom was finally restored in 1993. Buganda is now a kingdom monarchy with a large degree of autonomy from the Ugandan state, although tensions between the kingdom and the Ugandan government continue to be a defining future of Ugandan politics. Subscribe, like and share. Hit the notification bell to get notification when we upload future videos. Until next time, bye bye.